Welcome to my channel. I'm Hans and today we're going to be doing a follow-up to my router or drama as I was calling it. This is going to be video two and today we're talking about Netgear Orbeez and I have high hopes. Let's go! So I have this set up in my office and it's actually a much slower version than this one. These ones are ridiculously fast. I've got about a 600 megabyte connection in my main building that I'm trying to get over here. So we're gonna try to hook these up in a series so that we have one at the main house and the one at the back of the house. So hopefully we'll be able to connect them up, kind of daisy chain them. When I took those Asus routers back, it was really interesting because the guy at Best Buy that sold them to me, he was there when I returned them and he was like, yeah, did you try setting up that AI mesh thing? I was like, yeah, I go, it didn't work. I mean, it would work for like 20 minutes to an hour and then it would just stop working. And he was like, yeah, yeah, it's kind of hit or miss with those things. It happened to me too. I don't understand why that guy sold me those in the first place. It blows my mind. Anyways, I have high hopes for these. Work for me, Orbeez, work. That's a little bit overkill, don't you think? You know what I need? This, because I need to be able to plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Orbeez, go on to the other house. The way I decided to do this is I was gonna take all three units over and I was gonna set them all up next to each other so I knew that they were gonna connect to each other. In hindsight, I wish I hadn't have done that because when I unplugged them and I plugged them back in, it had to reconfigure anyway. So as long as you have them plugged in where you think they're gonna work, it'll automatically tell you if they are connecting to each other using that site map. That could have saved me a little bit of time. We're gonna put them right on that close corner right there of that house. So if the worst case scenario, if they don't make it all the way over, I'll put one in the garage in that window and then that one will daisy chain to the one in the house. Those are them. That's it, huh? Yeah. So there's three of those guys. Cross your fingers. That's one of these. these. Oh, it's a box inside of a box. Steps one, two, three. Easy, easy. Let's get started. Download the Orbi app. Two, secure. Three, explore. Sounds easy. That is them in a nutshell. Not really. They're more in a cardboard box. So these are them. And they all have ports on the back of them. They're all the same. So we have one that's going to be set up as the router and one that's going to be set up as a satellite. And another one that's going to be set up as a satellite comes with a power cord for each one. And it comes with this cat five. That's kind of weird. I would think they'd be using cat six. Let's go get the app, which I think I already have. Here's the Orbi app. Right. That needed to be updated. We'll update it. Turning on the main router. The signal is blue. It says right there, if the signal is blue, then that means it's connecting. We're doing it right. Look at my shaky hands. Too much coffee. We have this one. I don't know how to get them much closer together than this. Okay, this one's blue again. This one is magenta. Blue is good here. That's one bad, but that one's closer. That's the weird. Nope. Look at that. It turned blue. Those two are blue now. They're blue. They're blue. So the signal is good, and now they're just pairing. Pairing, pairing, pairing. Whew. Okay, cool. They're set up. As you could see, everything turned blue, and then after it turned blue, everything went off, and everything was working. I did have to go back in to their website, log in, create an account that was connected to these serial numbers, I guess. I'm not really sure how that worked, but that was the other step I had to take. And then they just worked. I was getting about 630 megabytes down over there, and then when I came over here, where the satellite is here, I was getting uh, almost exactly the same, which was insanely good. I can't fathom having that kind of internet in my house finally. And then we put from this one to the one in the back of the house, we were able to get the mesh to work really well. I mean, it works awesome. 
it's just as fast right next to that router as it is to this one as it is to this one we definitely have i've been running this thing for about two days now so it's definitely degraded a little tiny bit and i'm not sure why i think it's actually my broadband company is probably throttling things down. I'm not really sure, but it's probably from the actual modem, not from the router. So needless to say, for a couple of days of these things being really stable, I have high hopes because again, I have these in my office. I've had them there for two, three years now, and I've never had to mess with them. I, I can't even remember the last time I restarted one of them. I have high hopes that these are just gonna continue to work and work really well for me. And after all of the research that I've done, these are by far the best routers out there that you can buy. Asus, I just was so disappointed. The thing looks so cool and they're like gaming routers. These things have gotta be super stable. I just talked myself into it. Come to find out, they're really not. These ones are much better, much more reliable. The range is better on these. It says that it'll do, what, 7,500 square feet, this particular one. And these are, let me give you the model. This is the RBK53S. There's a bunch of different ones. This is the highest RBK before you get into the new version that actually has the cool little blue space light on the outside of that. I don't think these look as good, but I never really noticed them. So I, I'm okay with that. But 7,500 square feet. If we take a look at the map of my property from where I'm putting the one to the other to the other, you can see it's very, very, it's a substantial distance. This is much further, but I do have a clear line of sight between those two routers. So I think that makes a big difference and it works really well. It's really fast. Hopefully it stays stable. You get some security features. They give you like one year of their Netgear security, which is really cool. And again, this is kind of what I was talking about where you couldn't do this before. You kind of had to have your router in the middle and spread out this way. Now you can go one to the other to the other, which makes me very happy because now I have super fast internet in my house, finally. So the app is pretty cool too. Um, I was able to set the whole thing up just using my phone, which is really nice. That Asus router said that I needed a PC. Comes to find out they actually have a pretty decent app too, but they didn't tell you anything about it in the box or in the instructions when you open it up. There's nothing in there about that. Don't you think that would be like a vital piece of information? Like when you open the box, it's like, hey, go get this app. Use the app to set it up. It says go get a PC. <laughs> Sorry, PC guys. I mean, I know there's a lot of you guys out there, but let me see if I can get the app pulled up here. You can see here on the app, if you go to the site map, I've got these three routers hooked up and they're daisy chained together. So this one's talk, that's the main router. That one's talking to that one. These two are talking to each other. It's really cool. You know, the stuff that you could do, you have security, you can go in and set parameters, you can set time limits on different devices. You can turn devices on and off. It's really good if you do have kids or if you just want to make your wife mad and play some pranks on her and turn off her iPad. Don't do that. It didn't end well for me. So in summary, if I had to do this over again and I was going to just start over, obviously I would just go out. I would buy these in the first place. The new ones that they have that are twice as much money as this one, I did do a, a lot of comparing. My internet where I am is pretty fast, but I don't have any Wi-Fi 6 devices. Now, if I wanted to future-proof myself, I could get the thousand dollar set up with the router and then the two satellites and that would have kind of future proofed myself i honestly feel like this is going to work really well for me with the speed that i'm getting for at least the next five ten years i recommend these i wouldn't spend the money right now unless you have some devices that are using the wi-fi 6. it's probably not worth the you know paying double pretty much you're getting the distance with this one you're getting the speed and those are the two things that I really cared about when I was shopping around for these things. And so I was able to accomplish my goal. I got fast, I got a long range, and I didn't have to use any of those wacky long range antennas. That's just one more thing that could possibly break down or go wrong. I am super stoked about this, to tell you the truth. If this was helpful at all and you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you'll see me in the next video. Let's go!